In this little refresher video, I'm going to remind you how we go about rounding to a specific place. This skill can be a little bit of a pain, so if you're having trouble with it, you're not alone. In, um, I'll also give you a little cheat sheet that you can use to help remind you of the steps if it gets a little bit overwhelming. So let's just say that we had $471, and we were trying to round that to the nearest hundred. As you can see on my number line, I have skip counted by 100, so you can kind of visualize what we are doing here. 471 is going to be somewhere in between 400 and 500 if we are skip counting by hundreds on our number line. So I know that my rounded answer when I round to the nearest 100 is either going to be 400 or 500. This is a weird little number line technique that a teacher taught me a while ago that I really like because it helps kids see that essentially what we're doing is we're trying to figure out if 471 is closer to 400 or closer to 500. And see these beautiful zeros that we make when we round? This makes our math easier to do mentally, which is most of the reason why we end up rounding anyways. It does make your life a little easier. So what you're gonna do is you are going to underline the place that you're rounding and then eyeball the number next door. If this eyeball number is five or more, we're going to round up. If it's less than five, we're going to round down. You can see that in my eyeball number, I've got a seven. That tells me that 471 is going to round up to 500. What does this mean on our number line? It means that 471 is closer to 500 than it is to 400. I like to tell kids, think of it like you're a tiny little person running on a number line. If you're running between 400 and 500 and you stopped at 471, would you want to continue on to the 500 mark or turn around and go back to the 400? And in this case, you are closer to that 500 mark, so you're going to round up. Again, estimation is usually done a lot more loosely when we're doing math in our head, like at the grocery store. But there are some instances in math where you are going to be required to round to a specific place, especially when we're talking about money. And so it's important to learn this skill, even though it's kind of a nitpicky one. You will get better at it with practice. Good luck.